Okay guys, so to recreate this effect, it's really easy, it's just a simple case of using the um, pan and crop um, setting in here. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do it. Um, I've marked out the beats and got a bit of clips ready. But the idea is we'll fade these in quickly, slightly over the beat. And we fade it out, because why not? And we take our first clip and we click video event pan and crop or when you zoomed in you click this button here and it brings you to this classic page let's have a look so we can see it in here um, now the idea is basically just to animate the movement so we click we double click somewhere around here any way you want that's slightly further in uh, double click to create a keyframe and then we just zoom this in as so, if you want, an, if there's something specific in the song you want to animate it to, um, if you press this button here, it immediately places this where this is on your timeline. So if you knew where it was on your timeline, you put it here. Say we wanted to, to zoom to there, we'd put it, move it to that, and that is that one. And if I show you with this one, we do the exact same thing. So, want it to finish zooming there. Zoom it all the way in. There is no um, specific uh, size I put this to. I just zoom in until, well, I'm happy with it, to be honest. And then I adjust it accordingly. Uh, and also to just help with the, with all the zooming, because it's usually a big heavy beat. I usually add a big bit of glow. And zoom that out. And then that's just for extra stylistic need. And then we shift B this and we'll see what it looks like. And that's basically it. It's really easy, honestly. You can do this so quickly and it just I think it adds a little extra to some big powerful songs like this one. Uh, find my way back where the beat suddenly picks up and yeah uh, nothing else to say really any questions let me know um, but I hope this helps and I hope you like using this effect